Let's consider this question. What is the limit of this function as x tends to 0? When we have solved this, we are going to choose from one of these options. To solve this problem, step number 1. Apply direct substitution. That is, wherever you see x, you are going to replace it with 0. And here, 2 times 0 is 0. Next, anything to the power of 0 is 1. That is, 7 to the power of 0 is 1. However, 0 cannot raise itself up because it does not exist. Here, we got 0 over 0, which is undefined. Hence, direct substitution failed. Here, because step 1, direct substitution failed, which is plugging, we are going to apply L'Hopital rule. And in the application of L'Hopital rule, here we got two options. Either to use difference of two squares or to use differentiation. Let's start with difference of two squares. Later, we are going to use differentiation as an alternative method. The law governing difference of two squares is a squared minus it must be a minus b squared is equal to a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket subsequently one squared is the same thing as one also exponential to the power of two squared is the same thing as exponential to the power of x in bracket squared or exponential to the power of x all squared this is the same as this is the same as this we are going to use this and also this this is fine because 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 times 2 is equal to 6. This and this are both the same. Next, we apply difference of two squares. And this, we take away this. This is possible because of the presence of these squares. Because a squared minus b squared can be used as difference of two squares. Next, take the limit of the remaining function. Substituting for 0, our answer is 2. Subsequently, we can solve this using differentiation. In L'Hopital rule, we are going to differentiate each of these separately. Let's differentiate 1 and we are going to have 0. Next, let's differentiate exponential to the power of 2x and we're going to have 2 exponential 2x which we have done using chain rule because of the presence of 2 at the powers next differentiate 1 and we're going to have 0 next differentiate exponential x and we're going to have exponential x Next, this, we take away this. Next, take the limit of this function as x tends to 0. And by differentiation, equally gave us 2. And from the options, our answer is C. Next, Let's consider this question. Step number one. Apply direct substitution. And here, we are going to get 0 over 0. Step two. Apply L'Hopital rule. That is, we are going to differentiate each of these variables separately. Differentiate L squared. And you are going to get 2x. Next, differentiate 1 
and you are going to get 0. There is a minus. Next, differentiate cos x and we have minus sin x. This will be in a bracket. Next, we take the limit of this function as x tends to 0 and we are going to have 0 over 0 which is undefined. Next, step 3. We are going to apply L'Hopital rule again by differentiating this independently which is actually this. Differentiate 2x and we are going to have 2. Next, differentiate sin x and we are going to have cos x. Next, take the limit as x tends to 0 and our answer is 2. Remember that minus times minus will give you a plus. And from the options, our answer is D. Next, let's consider this question. To solve this problem, remember how to differentiate in X. To differentiate ln, you first of all differentiate what is in the front. Here, we're going to have 1. Next, you recopy this back to the denominator. This is how to differentiate in. That is, if I have n cos x, then the y prime or the y ds is, I will differentiate cos x first and I will got minus sign x. Next, I will recopy cos x back to the denominator. Hence, I'm going to apply this when working on this. To solve this problem, step number one, apply direct substitution and we have zero over zero. Next, step number two, we apply L'Hopital rule by differentiating h independently. Differentiate lin cos x. We're going to have minus sin x over we're going to recopy back cos x this is the answer for just this next we're going to differentiate x squared and we're going to have 2x this division we change to multiplication hence it will flip 1 over 2x and this is going to multiply this and this will multiply this. Next, we take the limit of this as x tends to 0. Here, we got 0 over 0. Next, we are going to apply L'Hopital rule to this function again, which is step 3. Next, let's differentiate minus sign x and we have minus cos x. Next, let's differentiate 2x cos x. To differentiate this at the denominator, we are going to apply product rule. That is, we are going to keep 2x constant and differentiate only cos x. And we have minus sin x. Next, in product rule, we are going to have a plus. Next, we are going to keep cos x constant and we are going to differentiate, we are going to have 2. Next, you rearrange the function. Next, you take the limit as x tends to 0. That is, substitute 0 in places of x. And since cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0, hence our answer becomes minus 1 over 2 and our answer is a next let's consider this question to solve this problem this is the same as this likewise this 
is the same as this and it's the same as this but in many exam questions you're going to get it written like this to solve this problem step number one apply direct substitution that is plug-in and we obtained 0 over 0 which is undefined next step number two apply low hospital rule and here we got two options by difference of two squares and by differentiating each variable separately let's apply difference of two squares and later we check the answer using differentiation because x is like a while one is like b then they are squared with a negative in between and taking the limit as x tends to zero this will take away this and you are now left with this and taking the limit as x tends to zero you are going to have one plus one and your answer is two this is now our answer let's repeat step two by using differentiation by chain rule we are going to differentiate cos square x and we have minus 2 sin x cos x next let's differentiate 1 and we're going to have 0 next let's differentiate cos x and we're going to have minus sin x next let's differentiate 1 and our answer is 0 next let's rearrange this and take the limit as x tends to 0 and you can see this negative we take away this negative and sin x we take away sin x next you take the limit as x tends to 0 and you can see our answer is 2 which is the same answer that we got earlier and our final answer is c next let's consider this question step number one apply direct substitution and we got zero over zero if you go for this then you fail it step number two apply low orbital rule here at the numerator we are going to differentiate this separately and differentiate the denominator separately let's differentiate two sine two x and by chain rule next differentiate three x and you got three next take the limit as x tends to zero and by solving carefully your answer is four over three and from the options our answer is c next consider this question this is a bit easy because x is tending to zero had it been this is tending towards infinity then the solution used here would be different and this problem have been solved in a separate video of limits that tends to infinity to solve this problem we have to remember some basics to be able to solve this problem you have to remember that infinity divided by zero is infinity also any number that divides infinity is equal to zero likewise infinity divide any number will return infinity with these concepts in mind this question that actually tends to zero becomes very easy to solve this problem step number one 
apply direct substitution with complex roots. The square root of minus 1 is i. However, at this stage of limit, it is undefined. But when dealing with complex root problem, the square root of minus 1 is i. Next, 0 is a real number. 0 is a number that can be found on the number line. And any number that divides by infinity will absolutely return 0. And this is our answer. From the options, our answer is B. We are going to start looking at these problems in part 2. And many more questions. And these are limits that tend to zero. Likewise, check out for other videos. in precalculus and to locate all these videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video